How the James Webb Telescope Can Detect Extraterrestrial Life The James Webb Telescope is one of the most complex projects ever attempted by humans. It cost NASA approximately $10 billion to construct and required a large number of personnel. The James Webb Telescope was eventually launched on December 25, 2021, despite multiple delays and cost overruns, making it the most complex and powerful telescope ever created. So there are high hopes for this brand new time machine in space. One of these expectations has been a source of distress for scientists for quite some time. Exists life in other regions of the universe? Is it conceivable that extraterrestrials are awaiting our contact? The James Webb Space Telescope may discover aliens or life signals on planets in the Haitian system. But how will it accomplish this? How will these discoveries affect our knowledge of the universe and ourselves? Let's examine how the new James Webb Telescope will discover extraterrestrial life. When the James Webb Space Telescope was successfully launched into orbit, scientists breathed a murmur of relief as they had only one chance to ensure its success. The Webb is currently in orbit at the Langrange 2.1 million miles from Earth. When the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope becomes fully operational and begins observing the cosmos, it will be more than just another instrument for astronomers to study the universe. Its state-of-the-art spectroscopic equipment will enable it to peer into space and observe distant objects in greater detail than ever before, significantly more than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. It may help us learn about our origins and where else in the universe we might be able to survive. Using the telescope, scientists will peer back billions of years in an attempt to answer questions about our origins. In between these objectives, this powerful telescope will also search for signs of life in outer space. The James Webb Space Telescope will predominantly be used to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets to search for the building blocks of life elsewhere in the universe. Webb is an infrared telescope, however. What does this have to do with exoplanet research? In recent years, astronomers have discovered planets outside of our solar system utilizing observatories such as TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, and the Kepler Space Telescope. Using a technique known as the transit method, these can observe the brightest stars and detect variations in luminosity when a planet passes between them and us. This is a remarkable feat of scientific observation, but it tells us very little about the nature of these planets, only their estimated size and, in some cases, mass. If we wish to understand the nature of a planet, we must determine whether or not it has an atmosphere. What material does it consist of? Exists cloud cover within the sky? Contains there any water? We must examine this in much greater detail. Webb intends to accomplish this, but it will be a significant technological undertaking. NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, are collaborating on this endeavor for this reason. Webb is 100 times more sensitive than Hubble, and as a consequence, Webb will be able to reveal the tiniest details in the farthest reaches of the universe with exquisite clarity. Hubble has already contributed to our understanding of exoplanets. However, James Webb will alter how we observe and investigate small planets by providing more information about them. Hubble also operates at visible light wavelengths, capturing images in the visible light spectrum. However, James Webb will operate at an infrared wavelength, which can detect a variety of characteristics and see through obscuring material to provide a completely new perspective on the cosmos. Hubble and Webb will be able to collect complementary data on the same targets in collaboration. Don't fret if you enjoy Hubble's breathtaking views of space, they're not going anywhere. We will simply acquire a new instrument for acquiring a deeper understanding. The James Webb Space Telescope will search the Haitian planets for signals of life. What are planets in the Haitian, and why do scientists believe they may harbor life? 
To comprehend Hesean, one must first comprehend exoplanets, which are planets that orbit their own sun but are not in our solar system. There are billions of exoplanets, according to astronomers, but they are notoriously difficult to detect because the stars they orbit outshine them. To date, approximately 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered beyond our solar system. Exoplanets have been investigated to determine whether or not they contain life. When determining whether an exoplanet is capable of supporting life, scientists consider whether it orbits within the habitable zone of its host star. This zone is a golden spot, indicating that the planet is close enough to its star for liquid water to exist on the planet and possibly support life as we know it. Scientists are presently focusing on Hesean, a specific type of exoplanet. Hesean planets are hot planets with oceans and a hydrogen-rich atmosphere that are significantly easier to detect and study than our planet's sibling planets. In our solar system, there are no Hesean planets. Some Hesean planets are larger and hotter than Earth, but experts believe they contain enormous oceans that could support the type of life that originated on early Earth and persists in harsh ocean habitats. One of the most intriguing characteristics of these planets is that they have a larger habitable zone than Earth or Earth-like planets, meaning that they may still be able to support life even if they are located outside the zone where our planet is required to be in order to support life. Over 4,000 exoplanets have been discovered, demonstrating that researchers have done a remarkable job of detecting and learning about exoplanets using extant technology. However, this field is very young, with the discovery of the first planets outside our solar system occurring in the 1990s. This suggests that many instruments of the current generation, such as Hubble, were never intended to study exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, was designed with exoplanet characterization as one of its primary design goals. When Webb is aiming at a star, for example, it will point at a specific pixel with extremely high accuracy and will not move, allowing scientists to precisely detect any decreases in brightness that may occur, which will provide information about any planets in orbit. The James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, was designed with exoplanet characterization as one of its primary design goals. When Webb is aiming at a star, for instance, it will point at a specific pixel with extreme precision and will not move, enabling astronomers to precisely quantify any dips in luminosity that may indicate the presence of a planet in orbit. Webb can perform its most intriguing exoplanet-related function with this level of precision, determining whether or not an exoplanet has an atmosphere and what that atmosphere is composed of. Although scientists have devised a number of ingenious techniques for detecting exoplanet atmospheres, current detectors were not designed to do so. Because of this, Webb's capabilities will be so revolutionary. Webb contains four infrared wavelength sensors that will observe the universe. NIRSpec includes the Near Infrared Camera NIRCam, and the Near Infrared Spectrograph NIRSpec. As the names imply, the Fine Guidance Sensor slash Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph FGS slash NIRIS will observe the Near Infrared Spectrum. The Mid Infrared Instrument, MIRI, analyzes an extensive range of far infrared wavelengths. However, this equipment is delicate and requires a correctly maintained atmosphere in order to function. Therefore, the technology encircling them must also be cutting edge. Webb is brimming with innovative, intricate technology, from the sensitive infrared detectors to the tennis court-sized, five-layer thin captain sunshield that will protect the instrumentation from solar radiation and allow the telescope and detectors to reach the cold temperature necessary for infrared observations. The most intriguing aspect of studying exoplanet atmospheres is learning where else in the cosmos life may exist. The origins of life will be one of the principal topics investigated by Webb. There are significantly more categories of exoworlds than we anticipated. There are gas planets of Jupiter's size relatively close to their star, as well as massive stony super-Earths and warm Neptunes. Some of these planets may have the necessary temperature and chemical composition to support life. However, the dimensions and mass of a planet are not sufficient to determine if it is habitable. 
When we discover a planet that is Earth-sized and has a similar mass, for instance, we frequently assume that it is similar to Earth. Venus and Mars are roughly the same size and mass as Earth, but their atmospheres are extremely hostile to our kind of life. Mars has an unbelievably thin, unbreathable atmosphere that is less than 1% the density of our planet's atmosphere. Therefore, we must comprehend atmospheres in order to determine whether a planet is habitable. More importantly, in order to estimate the number of habitable planets in the universe, we need to know what atmospheres are typical for planets of our scale. Which variety of atmosphere does nature produce most frequently? Is it similar to Venus or Mars, and Earth is an outlier? Or it is possible that Earth-like atmospheres are common and that there are many potentially habitable planets in the universe. The scope of Webb's research will extend beyond exoplanets. It will conduct a broad range of research, from observing the formation of the universe's first galaxies to determining how stars form from swirling clouds of dust and gas. With its first year of research operations scheduled, we are barely touching the surface of this new instrument's potential applications. We'll have to wait and see what additional heavenly marvels it uncovers. James Webb will alter the course of history. It will enable us to see things that we have longed to see but have been unable to see due to a lack of technology. What are your thoughts on the discoveries that James Webb will make? Can we discover evidence of an alien civilization? Share your thoughts in the remark section below. In the upcoming months and years, James Webb's discoveries will be updated with additional information, so subscribe to our channel and remain tuned for more intriguing astronomy and space science-related content.